Hey guys, uh, my name is Mac uh, with Hope and Help, and I'm here to continue our Freaky Friday update. And today, uh, just continuing with our campaign of Truce to Protect, uh, you know, there's talk, test, condoms, and prep. Last week, we talked about condoms uh, with Adam, and today I would like to continue and talk about prep. So what is prep? Prep stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis, and it's just a pill if taken once a day, every day, has a 92 to 99% chance, according to the CDC, of reducing HIV transmission. Damn! So some of the things that we want to remember about PrEP, um, it's a preventative measure. So we want to remember seven and 21. These are the two numbers that according to the CDC, uh, you have to wait seven days to be fully protected from oral and anal sex, and 21 days to be fully protected from vaginal and other blood-to-blood -blood contact and, and needle sharing and stuff like that. We're gonna talk about seasons of risk, right? So PrEP is not something that is for everybody all the time. Well, safer than a tube sock. So if you are not in a monogamous relationship, for example, uh, then there may be other questions and other risk factors that a provider would look at, uh, like us here that has, we have a PrEP clinic and we'll talk to you about some of the, you know, we'll ask you some of the questions. Looking at risk factors, if you're in a monogamous relationship, prep may not be for you. But if you're having fun, if you're not sure, if you're not in a serious relationship, if you have multiple partners, then prep may be right for you. So let's talk about PEP. Uh, unlike PrEP, which just means pre-exposure, PEP is post-exposure. So if you feel like you've been exposed to HIV, you have 72 hours to come here to us at the PrEP Plus clinic or to um, the, the ER and the health department. I'm biased, so of course I'll say come to us. You'll definitely be put on a PEP regimen post-exposure. The regimen can last between 21 to 21 day, 28 days, depending on the provider and what else may be going on with you as well. All right guys, so to wrap up, um, in our Choose to Protect campaign, we have talk, test, condoms, and prep. And uh, today we talked about prep and NPEP, making sure pre-exposure, if you feel like you're in a season of risk, definitely get on prep. And if, the, if you've been part of an emergency situation or if you feel like you've been exposed to the HIV uh, virus, then you can definitely get on PEP within 72 hours to be fully protected from HIV transmission. So remember, spread the news and let everybody know.